They're trying to catch me with that microphone off. You right? Yeah. All right, Shalom. Shalom. First and foremost, before we begin, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Rechakwadash. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone who rule well and teach well. Peace and salutations unto all the Akim, brothers preaching this word in truth and sincerity across the four corners of the earth. And shalom unto the hopeful elect, you sincere believers scattered wherever you may be. This is the brother Yaquab. How you up? Yeah, what's up? Khan, with the uh with the branch, Gary Branch of Great Millstone, coming to you with a little uh in transit. Essentially, this one just going into uh the topic of health. All right. Um inspired of a little conversation the brothers and I were having earlier. You know, just going into getting our temple right, all right, because it does affect uh, the spirit as well. You know, when you when you're feeling good, you know, eating right, it helps out. It helps out the mind, right? And you just overall, your overall being is just better. You know, when you're locked in, eating the right things, exercising, and, and even the apostles will. Uh, uh, inspire us to do better you got the apostles up there in age uh walking <laughs> putting us on herbs mm -hmm. you know what i'm saying the fruit juices the cleanses all these different things these are experienced right. men and you know setting the example for uh us younger acumen that were brought up in a fucking society that thrives off gmo and shit but uh brother got the uh precept we'll just go through the spirit lord willing will be edifying all right onto the flock you could do a sirac uh, 30 and 15. This is the book of Sirach 30 and what? 15. 30. Oh, yeah, that's crazy. All right. This is the book of Sirach Ecclesiastes chapter 30 and verse 15. It says, health and good estate of body are above all gold and a strong body above infinite wealth. There is no riches above a sound body and no joy See better. Kind of no no joy above the joy of the heart, and that's how you know it, it links. You know what I'm saying the sound body with the with the sound heart. All right, but the point is that the health and a good state of the body, they're above all gold. You know, because what is it? Because it it tells you in uh verse 14. I'll read it. it says um better is the poor being sound and strong of constitution than a rich man that is afflicted in his body because you'll have all the wealth but what is it when you're truly tormented within your mind or within your body yep. you're not thinking about them fucking riches think about how you're gonna get better or or trying to you know what i'm saying trying to get back right because it's a <laughs> god knows it's a bitch on having whatever ailment you know what i'm saying or you feeling weak whatever because your mind is now now focused on that whatever is bothering you you know so having that good health good state of the body it's above all the gold you know what i'm saying the, the whatever type of wealth um carnally could bring you know because you're whole not above of course not above the uh the spiritual riches uh, but more so the carnal Y'all got it. Um, let me get that First Timothy 4. First Timothy 4 to 8. For bodily exercise profitable for little, but godliness is profitable to all things, having promise of the life that now is and of that which is to come. So bodily exercise isn't going to get you really nowhere. Yeah, it feels good when you're in your youth and, and having all those muscles, but what are those muscles going to do for you in the day of judgment? What are those muscles going to do for you for your spiritual? The body, the body's going to decay regardless. But that spirit lasts forever. What uh, verse is given here? Eight. You said first Timothy what? Four and eight. Four. And then if you get in uh, NLT, it says physical training is good, but training for godliness is much better. Privacy benefits in this life and the life to come. So you're storing your riches where um in the heavens where earth and rough, uh, what's it called moth and rough do not grow. Mm -hmm. So you're you're buying into yourself in the long run. Yeah, that's why the. 
because the spiritual is going to outweigh the carnal a Car hundred over a hundred times again but the um you know what i'm saying not to neglect also because the the body the exercise profit is little while it's little it still does profit you know uh, again we're more focused on the truth rather than you know what i'm saying trying to you know how you have like the bodybuilders that are just yep. <laughs> yeah that's their whole life and then the influencers and shit while we still you know what i'm saying do our best to keep healthy and exercise and such it is important but what's more important is the truth and pushing out the word of y'all bashing y'all shine doing the work it's really an obsession that they have what are you putting your time into mm -hmm. putting your time into the lord or are you gonna put your time into bodybuilding or <laughs> nba players on the court or right. uh, any other sport or people that want to go in and sing and music that's what they're focusing on too much mm -hmm. yeah look at look at kobe bryant he put all his time all the years being alone being, being isolated in the gym constantly 24 7. right but what did that get him you know exactly he didn't bring him salvation you know he paul he, he pretty much put all his eggs in one basket and said i'm just gonna follow i'm just gonna be a basketball player and that's it you know yeah yeah because like you mentioned the uh Shit, this carnal, or they say uh, flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of the most high. We're going to shed these bodies anyways. Huh. However, keep while we got them, <laughs> we might as well keep them, you know what I'm saying, well maintained, well equipped. Because it said the, the spirit or the temple of the most high, you know, is essentially our bodies. Yep. Our, the, the spirit that dwells within us, all right, is uh, 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 what keeps us going. What did it say? I'm butchering it on. Uh, the Corinthians know ye not that the spirit I got it first Corinthians 3 and 16 says know ye not that ye are the temple of the most That's high the I was just thinking that. God it says and that the spirit of the most high dwelleth in you you know so we have to be mindful of, of what we're putting into our temples and exactly. you know and keeping a balance because we're in the flesh we're in fucking Babylon and God knows what we're truly eating for real. <laughs> but we have to at least make an attempt to to do better. You don't want to stay in the dirty room. Yeah, exactly. God. Um, what you got? What's up? You had something? Yeah, I still have the... Uh, let me see. Still have that Proverbs 20, um, 29. Cause you notice too, like even um, just working out, or you walk in, or you getting some cardio in. Usually, nine times out of ten, you're gonna feel a lot better after the fact that you went. Prior to, you know, what I'm saying, prior to you going, you're gonna feel a lot yeah. better afterwards. You know. Put crap in your body. You getting drowsy. You getting Facts. <laughs> And then you, yeah. Then you just running the body in general. So you're setting yourself back in two aspects. You're putting trash inside your body, but you're also neglecting what the Lord afterward due to the effect of the cause, the effects of that um, cause. Yeah. That's why I forgot we had learned about it in school where it basically after you work out, you get them feel good chemicals. Yep. In your brain. Dopamine. Yep. The dopamine hit. Yeah. Uh, as a essentially, man, it's just gonna better uh, a better us in the long run. Yep. You know. God. This is Proverbs twenty and twenty nine. It says, "The glory of a young man is their strength." So I can read that correctly. The glory of young men is their strength, and the beauty of old men is their is the gray hair. Young man, you know, if he, he in shape, you know, he, hey, he gonna feel like that dude. <laughs> <laughs> he gonna feel like that dude, you know. And it same thing, which says, uh, the beautiful old man is the gray hair, you know. Uh, people look up to you, you know, when you got gray hair, they think you you got wisdom, all that type of stuff, you know. Mm -hmm. People approach you, you know. Yeah. Pretty much all I had on that verse. Verse 
Oh, yeah. did you get that uh, Jeremiah too? Oh, yeah, Jeremiah 9. Yeah. What is 30? Jeremiah 9. Because again, just to give the balance, you know, because again, all these things are beautiful, you know, eating right, getting the, what did it say? Uh, when we, uh, should be a, a proverb. It's definitely a proverb. What did it say? Uh, but just like Apostle Dahar said, I think a year or so ago, it said basically all, all that we're eating is, is junk, but you rather get the, you rather get the quality junk, right. you know, the best of the worst, so to speak. But... Sanchi, while all of these things are beautiful, we eating right, taking your herbs, taking, you know what I'm saying, your your different vitamins, your supplements to, I got it. to combat all the fucking toxins that Esau throws at us. You know, the true glory is um, having this knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And all the, you know what I'm saying, the, the strength that we get from the body exercise, the eating good, it's all add-ons. It just aids, you know what I'm saying, the spirit. <laughs> you know? Give an extra boost. Yeah, extra boost, right? Y'all got a dose of that. I got the, that Jeremiah one. Oh, yeah. Okay. She'd be like 9 and 23. He just gets to the point there. Uh, this is Jeremiah 9 and verse 23. It says, Thus saith the Lord, Let not the wise man glory in his wisdom, neither let the mighty man glory in his might. Let not the rich man glory in his riches, but let him that glory, that glorifieth, glorieth, glorify. We start that. Jeremiah 9 24. But let him that glorieth glory in this, that he understandeth and knoweth me, that I am the Lord. Which exercise loving kindness, judgment, and righteousness in the earth. For in these things I delight, saith the Lord. <laughs> yeah, so pretty much, if you just, uh, you just, I ain't gonna lie, you can't, you can't, you can't boast in things that the Lord provided you. You know? <laughs> God. Uh, especially worldly fucking possessions. You know, cause everything is temporal. Mm -hmm. The only thing that's not temporal is this truth, you know? So that being said, you got a glory in knowing that you know the Lord's name, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. So blessed knowing what's to come, you know, God. knowing knowing the uh, the prophecies, knowing 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 the promises that the Lord gave us, you know. Not that you fucking buff. <laughs> right, right. Like come on, not that you rich. You could be you could be broke the next day. Yeah. Then what? Like you said, because all all like none of that triumphs the Lord. Like you said, you rather worship y'all by Shem Yahweh Shai rather than or, or giving credit to the Lord rather than boasting in, you know what I'm saying, vanity at the end of the day or whatever the Lord bless you with. Right. And you see people talking about, yeah, I got so and so many, so and such followers. Or, I this yeah, crib. or I achieve, this nice yeah. car. Calm. Yep. That shit don't mean nothing. Or I know this mm -hmm. much, this much, and this much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like, you got it. No, it's the Lord that gave us all yeah, these things. Yeah, what period? I know it's such and such. Oh, my God. Right. Well, was, okay, it's cool. Like, cool. <laughs> like, all right. And even with us, if being, you know what I'm saying, having the knowledge, wisdom, understanding. It's not a us. That's why we can't boast. You know? We got to be humble with it. Because, again, uh, you know what I'm saying, just how the Lord freely sure. gives, he could take it away. And Lord forbid... But you know we can't get uh, uh, overly puffed up. It's a like, uh, knowledge puffed up. Uh, you gotta know who the, where the increase comes from. Uh, and two, Lord, yeah, you got it. The Lord says, uh, I think you already said. It. He said, I lift the up one and I break it down. Roughly paraphrasing. Mm -hmm. Con. And then two to get the balance. Don't feel discouraged on you not knowing or not knowing or you thinking you not knowing as much as you should. You know, because it's a spirit. The uh, uh, Elder Damashpa just went on a, on a lesson on that. You know what I'm saying? How, like, brothers will, their spirit will come over and, like, damn, I, I want to remake this lesson because I don't think I hit the points. You know, or are you trying to um, go deep into it? You thinking uh -huh. it's just simple enough? When we got to rebuke that, hey, just put it up because we know more than what men understand. And you never know who could be watching. Yep. Exactly, that could have been for a specific uh, brother in his faith, a sister in his faith. Right. Or new believers. Or you, new we believers, don't know. Exactly. 
it's still edifying. You're still preaching the word, right? You're bringing out the precepts, breaking them down, you know what I'm saying, correctly to the best of your ability. You got it. If I may, knowing the name in itself is God. more than what the common knows. <laughs> exactly. Because it says only one name you'll be saved under in that day, right? It says the, uh, the Lord's name is a strong uh, tower, mm -hmm. and the righteous run it thin. Roughly paraphrasing. And it's safe, God. Th this is what's going to get you through in those days. Everything around this world that you put more time into is only going to get you, um, what's it called? What is the word? You're liked in the people's eye. Yeah. There's another yeah. scripture for it, though, exactly. Yeah. Oh, the, the approvals of men or something like that. Exactly. Uh, Both of those. Praises of men, yeah. What is that going to get you? You're, you're getting praise from people that can't even save you in that day. But a good um, relationship with the Lord, mm -hmm. that's what's going to get you through, man. I got one. Okay. I don't have one. Hey, you got it, bro. Um, so, uh, 2 Andrews 9, and I'm going to start at verse 13. Mm -hmm. oh, give me one moment. We could close on that if y'all don't have anything. I'm going to start at 6. It says, Even so the times also in the highest have plain... Hold on. Nope, yeah, I'm going to go... I'm going to start at 7, actually. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed, mm -hmm. these are the ways you're going to get saved in those days. But having these, these muscles, this, this physical gain, it's not going to be able to protect you. It says, uh, Riches profit, uh, profit of nothing. And a day of wrath. Yep. All right. I got two more, but if you want to get yours first, you can. I can finish off with mine. It says, "Shall be preserved from the perils, and shall be see Slovakia, and shall see my salvation in my land and within my borders." So this is a, this is your um this is the test. If you can do all of these things, then you should be able to come with me on the first go around because you understood what was more important in this life. Okay, then it says, For I have sanctified them for me from the beginning. Right? Then it also goes into it says, Then shall they be in a pitiful case which now have abused my ways, and they have cast them away despitefully, shall dwell in torment. So this grace period, the the um this truth in itself that he's giving you, if you're not buying into that, but buying into things of this world, mm -hmm. you, you wasted his time. You're wasting that blessing. Exactly. And then this is the last one. Oh, no, no, a few more. It says, for such as in their life, it's like, for such as in their life have received benefits and have uh -huh. not known me. Uh -huh. So exactly like what he said. You're boasting in the things the Lord gave you, but you don't even know who gave it to you. Yeah, then you say you got out the mud. <laughs> like what? That's pride. Or you say once you get these rewards, huh, I want to thank God, but you didn't get it from the correct one. Mm-hmm. Yeah, God is real. Yeah. God of this world. You can get that. I mean, yeah. <laughs> you can get orange or Con, it's a priest off the back up what you brought up, and I think it's in uh, the seventh verse. This is uh, Revelations 2 and 25. It says, But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come. Con. And he that overcometh and keep, keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power unto the so I can. Will I give power over the nations? Yeah, so pretty much if we hold on fast to what the Ooh. brother going into, you know. Not not wanting to be friends with the world, you know. But uh -huh. wanting to be uh friends with Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai and, and respecting him and, and doing the things that he wants you to do, you know, and holding fast to what I said earlier, the prophecies and the things to come. Hey, then he gonna he gonna, have, he gonna let you have power over the nations, you know? Uh -huh. he fit. I got one. You got one? Nah, nah, you okay. got it. Um, I'm going to go through and try to hit this main point. Yes, mother. She can't drive. Nah. Matthew 24 and 42. It says, Watch therefore you know not what hour your Lord will come. Nobody knows that day uh, day or time. Not mm -hmm. even your house shot. But it did say, which is another beautiful scripture. He says, pretty much wait upon him. He'll come back once what he has um, in heaven ready for us. Yeah. For the mini mansion scripture. You so we have to endure and, and he said occupy till I come This is what we're supposed to be Occupying with that mm -hmm. So it says Watch therefore you know Not watch out What hour Your Lord doth come 
But know this, that if the good man of the house had known and would watch the thief would come, he would have watched and would have not suffered his house to be broken upon. It says, for therefore be also ready for in such an hour as you think not the son of man coming. So this is what we're supposed to be doing every day, isn't it? Let me do it this day. I take this day off. Because all that stuff, with well, just one slip of the hand, could be gone. Mm -hmm. It says, who then is a faithful and wise servant whom the Lord had made the ruler over his household to give them meat in due season. That upgrade when, they, when the time is right, when you're ready for it. It says, blessed is that servant whom his Lord, when he shall, when he come and shall find so doing. Doing what? Doing the will of the Lord. Occupying the right things, filling your body the right things, keeping their, your spirit fed. Okay. It says, Verily I shall unto you, Slock it, Verily I say unto you, that he shall make him ruler over all his goods. 47. I tell you that the, I tell you the truth, the master will put that servant in charge of all he owns. So when the Lord comes back to, to get who he's co uh, collecting. And destroying this world and bringing a new one, you're gonna be a part of that. That's all I had. Okay. Okay. So with that, hey Lord willing, this was edifying and exhorting unto the flock. Again, we want to give all praise, honor, and glory unto Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Rechakwadash. Double honors again unto the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. Shalom. Why? Kwam Yasharala. Kwam Yasharala. Why? Ababa Ba. Ababa Ba.